Hello everyone! I'm Kenzie and this is Tomb Raider 1. Let's load the game and I'm gonna show you something I just learned right now while I was sinking. Uh, there's only 16 save slots. So, we're gonna have to, um, go up and, uh, perhaps save over some of these early ones. Or, like, some of these that have duplicates, because as you can see we have two Sanctuary, the Skions, that sort of thing. I suppose the way they want you to do it is the way I was doing it initially, where we only had, like, one per level. Because I think there is 16 levels in the game, so... Anyway, Natla's Mines, 88, let's go! So here we are, right where I left off. Looks good. We got a boat. We have no guns. We don't have our pistols. We don't have our shotgun. We don't have our magnum. And we don't have our Uzi clips. Or our Uzi guns to go with our Uzi clips. They left us with the med packs. Which is fine, I guess. I mean, not that we really need them right now. Anyway, we're here. There's nothing up here. The goal of this level is to get our guns back, and then we need to start tracking down Natla and prevent her from doing whatever it is she's doing. Excuse me. I was drinking water right before this started. So over there, if we look, there's a place where we can't get out of the water and there's some crates. The goal right now is to move this boat over so we can jump over there. Now, speedrunners can do a curve jump here and just jump right in and it's fine. It saves you a whole lot of running around. But I'm going to do the running around because I think this is a really clever level. So, come over here. And there's this thing in the way. And that's actually the way that we'll need to be going later. We gotta move that out of the way. Can I, can I jump up here? Yeah, I sure can. Can I... Is this a move block? It sure is. Let's move it and see where it happens. I don't remember. I, I know what we have to do, but I can't remember the order we have to do things in. Hey, there's a hole here. Hey, there's a door here that's not open. So that doesn't do me any fucking good anyway. Well, that was fun. Nice talk. Let's head on out of here. See, you can't actually, like, run through those gates. You have, And you can't really, like, if you're far enough away, you can jump over them. I'm just not very good at it. Evidently. So what we need to do... So now we're over here, and it's like, well, where do we go? Everything's blocked off. Hey, remember the waterfall trick from before? Ta-da! Gotta do it again. That's twice in one game there's caves hidden behind waterfalls, and that's pretty cool. So if we look here, there's a switch. Oh hey, it opened that door! To another switch. Do I need to run there now? I think I do, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Sploosh. And come up here, and we get out here. I really like this level, because you have to, like, figure shit out, and do these puzzles, and you don't have your guns. I mean, there's no enemies, so it's not like you're running away from anything. You know. It's cool. I just think it's really well done. I think it's really... I think it's a really interesting sort of level to compare to the rest of the game that we've been working with thus far. So pull the switch. What does this do? Something. Opens another door. Oh, it opens... Okay, so I did have to come this way first. I know where that door is. That door is when you continue going down the waterfall. Come on. When you can... So when you go under the waterfall and continue on that path, that's where that door is. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, if we do, if we were to do the curve jump and just jump right to the place that we're supposed to go, we wouldn't have to do all this running back and forth. What's really neat is that technically a curve jump isn't a glitch. It's just you using the physics of the game. 
So, even glitchless speedruns will use that trick. It's cool. I like speedruns. Still thinking about doing a Tomb Raider anniversary speedrun, but I don't know that my recording setup could handle it. Being that my recording setup is quite literally just me using the Xbox app on Windows 10. So now we're up here, and uh, there's a couple of ledges over there, but I don't think there's anything on them. I'm not going to check now, because we're going to be com coming back in this area anyway, and I'll check then. So let me come in here. I'm just checking for pickups. Nope. Let me come down here. And, oh, okay, there it is. We immediately look at this building that's suspended up there. And don't really know why. You gotta come over here and pick this guy up first. Because otherwise, it, when this comes down, it covers it up and you can't get it anymore. So now we're in here. And that's the, that's the way we just came in. And that's the way we want to go after we drop this building. How do we drop that building? We need to go up into the control room and put some fuses in. Where are the fuses? Over here somewhere. I can't remember. Um... Okay. We have to pull this block. <coughs> Pushing is faster than pulling, but there's no way to push it because it's, uh, you know, currently pushed up against the thing. I think we need to pull it once towards me as well. I think because the goal is to get on top of this building that's immediately to Lara's right right here. Let's see if I can do that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm gonna need she head. There we go. That's better. I think that's as far as we can push it. So then we have to get up here and do a running jump. Oh yeah, see there's a... Da -da. Fall in here. Ba -doom. It's not actually a building, it's just a hole. Come over here. Running, running, running. Pardon me. I don't know what this does. Let's find out! Hey, I moved the boat! Neat. But we still don't have any guns. Oh, that would have been another reason to move that block underneath that hole. So that way when we make that fall, we don't get hurt. I mean, it only did a sliver of damage, so it's not like it really did anything. Um, we're going to check the top of this building. A whole great big nothing. Okay. And we're going to come this way. And we're going to go ahead and save. Yeah, we'll save here. I'll figure out the save bullshit later. And this is... Oops. Oh my god, I did it first try. No, I didn't. Fuck! I would have had it first try if I didn't get caught up on the corner! Shit. Anyway, this is a timed puzzle. And you have to, um... And I already fucked it up. I think. Yeah. This is a timed puzzle. You have to race this boulder across. There it goes. I didn't fuck it up. Yeah, because you can't actually get in this room once that boulder blocks the way. 
So you have to race the boulder in here. And here we get the first fuse. One of three. Let's look at it. Fuse. That's all it says. We get three of them. So we get the first one there. Oh shit! Oh my god. Oh my god, how did I not die? Oh. He. I'm running on lava. Oh my heart. Oh my poor little baby heart. Oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack. No, I'm not. I shouldn't joke about that. That's not funny. Um, I don't know if you can hear that noise, but my furnace just kicked on. It got pretty cold here last night, and my apartment's freezing. So now we're back up here. If you fuck up this puzzle, you don't actually have to reload. You just, you can run out and leave and come back, and it'll reset, and it'll be fine. So, you don't actually have to worry about it. But I just find it's easier to... Well, I mean, I had to reload because I fucking died. But I just find it's easier to reload on PC. If you were on PS1, you could just leave and redo it. It would be fine. Anyway, and that's how we get out of there. So now we're back out here. and We already have one fuse. Now we gotta go get the other two. I can't recall where they are. I think it's this way. Yeah, here's another one. So if we look, there's a fuse on this conveyor belt. And we can't... We can try to go this way, and we can look at it through the hole over here, but we can't reach it. And we can look at it over here but we can't reach it to pick it up. It's technically on the conveyor belt. And we can't get close enough. Whatever shall we do? We have to turn the conveyor belt on and uh, make it go and it'll kick it out the end. So I think we've done everything we can up here. I think we have to go back down. There's so much back and forth in this level. That's the one thing I hate about it. I think we have to go back down to the boat area now to climb on the boat and get into that area I was talking about before. Yeah, that sounds about right. My throat is a little bit sore today because, yeah, I know it's up there. You didn't have to look at it again. My throat's a little bit sore today. I did a lot of talking yesterday. Um, I had to bring my daughter into the dentist and it turns out she's She's got some bullshit extra teeth and she needs to have them removed in order to not have jaw problems later in life. Had to talk with the dentist a lot. And then because Roxy and I were in Duluth by ourselves, we went ahead and went to lunch and we visited and we went shopping. I mean, she's only seven, so it's not like we did like a huge giant marathon, but it was a lot of stuff you know, for a seven-year-old and for a mom who was exhausted anyway because she didn't sleep very well the night before. This is a pull block. So, you know, just after all the shit yesterday, I'm, I'm feeling a little tired. I'm, I'm, my throat's a little bit scratchy. Plus, Roxy has a cold and I'm afraid that I'm getting it. So, if I'm a little bit gravelly, that might be why. Anyway, this room is kind of a pain in the ass because you got to move all these blocks. The correct way to do it is to move all these blocks. But what I've seen other people do is just use the corner bug and corner bug into where they need to go. Which is clever. I fucked up. I fucked up somehow. Well, hey, guess what? I don't care that bad. I don't think they call it a corner bug. Because the corner bug that's the corner bug is the one that I was trying to use to get to that med pack that I didn't get to back in Palace Midas. Hey, that opened. So. 
Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to push that one in there. I think I was supposed to pull it over there. Over in this area. Anyway, I'm just going to use this little glitch right here again. Whoop. Whoop. Maybe I gotta do it this way. Whoops. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well. I'll meet you back here. Shit. back. I started here because I figured I would show you the correct way to do this puzzle. Because, um, you know, I, uh, glitched through it last time and fucked up. <laughs> so, now we pull this one this way. We pull this one this way. There we go. Because we need to get it into the corner here. Like this. Then we pull this one twice. Nope. Then we pull this one twice. I should have had a drink of water before I came back. Hoops. By the way, the last time I saved was uh, before that rolling boulder puzzle. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is I, I honestly, right now, as I'm thinking about it, I'm debating editing that into a funny montage of me just fucking up. Because, like, I did that rolling boulder puzzle second try, right? It took me, like, five or six just now to get past it. It's like, fuck! Yeah, we saw this. Is that one unskippable? Must be. Okay. So now we can leave properly. <laughs> I'm such a moron. Doop, doop. Now we can go. Where? Oh, that was over here, wasn't it? The rolly cart thingy that we just moved is over here. Yeah, a lot of back and forth in this level because it's like we don't have guns, so there's nothing to shoot. So what do we have to do? Oh, we gotta figure out this puzzle. And it's like back and forth constantly, and it kind of sucks. Now I'm gonna push this one. I feel like I'm sitting here fine and enjoying myself, and then all of a sudden everything itches. Oh, what's up there? Let's find out. Oh, it's some Uzi clips for Uzis I don't have anymore. Mwah. Oh, but that opened that door. Now, we're gonna do something here. We're not supposed to go this way yet. This is the way... That's the way we're supposed to go, but we need that fuse. 
So what you do is you walk. Because if you run forward too far, you trigger an enemy. Over there somewhere spawns the cowboy. In Tomb Raider Anniversary, they combine the cowboy character with the Larson character. So we don't actually... We're, we're going to come back here later, so I'm not going to explain anything that's in this area now. But yeah, in Tomb Raider Anniversary, they combined Larson with the cowboy. So then this would be the part where we... You know, like, this is the point in the game where we would kill Larson. So now we have the second fuse. And now we got to run all the way back to the other area. So we can open the thing and get the third fuse and get our guns. Then we gotta come all the way back to this area. Okay, first things first though. I said I was gonna check this. Oh! We can't actually get up there. Okay. Well then... I guess I got some jumpy dudes to do, don't I? Because I'm curious. I can't remember if there's anything over there or not. And if there isn't anything over there, then it's a waste of my time. But if there is something over there, then good. I want the pickup. And if there's a secret over there, then it's like, hell yeah, I want that really bad. So give it to me. Yeah, see, that's where I want to go, down there. I guess the question is, how do I get over these fences? Can I maybe do it like this? Um, no. Okay. Well, hey, guess what? I'm not doing this a hundred thousand times, so... Just because this is kind of tedious. I mean, there's no real risk. I could save and just reload. Actually, maybe I will do that. Why not? There's no... It's. I mean, we're not playing a Silent Hill game. It's not going to give me the bad ending if I have too many saves. Right? Right. There's only one ending. And to be honest, it's kind of a lackluster ending. The real adventure is the friends we made along the way. Except Lara didn't make any goddamn friends. She kills everybody. Well, that was dumb. Can I make that... I don't... We can't make the jump from the boat. I think it's just too far. Let's try this. Oh, that worked. Hello? Hello? Well, that was useless. I think we come down from up there. Okay. Well, then you know what? I'm gonna cheat. There we go. Now it never happened and my health is full again. We So I'm gonna go back up here. Gotta go in the conveyor belt area, get the third fuse, go to the go in there, forget to stop. Yeah, we gotta go to the conveyor belt area, get the third fuse, go to that area, put it back in, get our guns, and then we can go all the way out and do some murder. Oh, hey, I got an email. Actually, that's an email I want to look at, so I better hurry up and finish this. Anyway. So now we come in here. This door is open. It wasn't open before. Pull the switch. And the conveyor belt turns on. I mean, not that you can... I mean... Fascinating. So then we come over here, and at the end is our third fuse. Let's go get some firepower. That's what makes this level so long, is just the back and forth and back and forth. It's like, holy fuck. 
hate it. It's not great in Tomb Raider Anniversary either, but in Anniversary it's... I feel like it's more interesting because it's a lot less, like, physically running and more, like, use your grapple to get down here and avoid these fucking rats that are chewing your ankles off. Give me that. I want that. One. Here, you can see her moving in the background when the camera changes. Watching the... Watch in the control room as I sidestep. Two. There she goes. <laughs> and three. Click. Boom. And what did that do? Let's go look. I made this door fall off. And there they are. Our pistols again! Hooray! We have ammo again! You can actually defeat this level without killing anybody. You can just run. Um, I have to go back. We have to go back! Actually, that's a lie. I want to go up there. I was, I was talking about that area before. So you jump on the roof of the building. Yeah, this- that- okay. I know where I, I know where this goes. We go up there. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. I was right. This is where I was trying to go before, but I'm a big dope. No, I wanted to swan dive, please. Thank you, sploosh. I'm gonna go back this way. Oh man. Yeah, as I was saying, you can actually get through this whole level without any firepower. You just- and then at the beginning of the next level you have it back. At least your pistols. I don't know if you have the extra guns back. I've never looked. I mean, I, I guess I don't really pay attention. I know there are some speedruns that are like pistols only. But even then they just don't give a shit here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save right here. Because... This room kinda sucks. Nothing personal. being careful here. There we go. Then he drops our beloved 50 caliber magnums. Give me those. Mmm, those are nice. We got 700 ammo for it. Oh yeah. Anyway, the reason why I'm super careful here is because if you look in these holes, it goes to lava and that so you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you. Lava is bad in this game. Like, you can stand on certain textures of it and it's fine. But then there are certain textures that just instantly kill you and set you on fire while you lay on the top of it! It's strange. In Tomb Raider 2, they actually make it shallow red water. So it looks more like lava. Speaking of Tomb Raider 2 and 3... While I do like those games, I don't like them as much as Tomb Raider 1. I feel like their level of difficulty is just too much for me. I mean, it's fun. I was thinking of doing Tomb Raider 2, but then it's like... The Tomb Raider 2 gets hard, like, Nintendo hard. Um, this doesn't actually go anywhere. 
It was completely useless. Thanks. Um, so the point right now is, so now we've killed the cowboy, we got our 50 cals back, and we're above a river of lava, and as we can see, there is a trail that goes up to a switch up there. Um, you can't actually make the jump if you t do it the traditional way, it's just too far. But if you count your steps from the wall right here, you can actually just curve just enough to get up there and then you can pull the switch and do the thing that you need to do. Unfor you know, but that's a speedrun technique and this isn't a speedrun, this is a for fun run. So, oh boy, I almost fell in that hole on accident. Um, so what we need to do is we need to climb around and find our way across the river and up to that path without dying. Um, um, shushu, boo, boo, boo. Is it here that I can do this now? If I shimmy. No, no, I'm dead. Okay, come on. Load, please. Thank you. Okay. It's over here. I don't remember where to go. There's med pack over here. Okay. There is a way. No, I think I need to go this way. Maybe. Perhaps. There it is. That's what I wanted. Because I need to pick up this med pack. And I'm not going to get distracted by the other platforms I see down there. Because this is clearly the path that I need to go. <sighs> I just turned my head like I was trying not to breathe into the mic. I'm wearing a headset. The mic fucking followed me. I'm a genius. Um. Um, now what? Is it this way? Um. Yes, there's a shimmy thing here. Nope, that was the wrong button. There it is. Lara cannot shimmy around corners in this game. I don't think she can shimmy around corners in two. Maybe three? But if not three, then four and five definitely. But I can't recall if she can shoot me around corners in three. Oh! That was a running jump there. Oopsie poopsie. I'm back. Nope, 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 no, nope, nope, nope. That's the one. You can let go of X and she'll regrab. Like if you let go and regrab and pre repress, she will regrab. Anyway, let's just scrape our bellies over this running lava. It's fine. Lara's a hardcore bitch. Okay, now we go this way. Um, I think that's a slippy slope. We're gonna have over a hundred saves by the time I'm done here. A lot of, uh, lava gurgling over here. What's this way? Nothing! Okay. Oh, see these lava bubbles? Those hurt you. Um, I think we need to go this way. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go! There's certain ones you can stand on and certain ones you can't. So, you know, just watch what the hell you're doing. 
Wow, that was a that was a scary scary jump there. And go up here. And then we can go in here, please don't hit. Oh. Um, well. Um. Hey, look at that. Guess who's cheating? I am. You're supposed to hurry in there and push the block and then you can get out and it's fine but uh I cheated I it's fine it's fine because see what you're supposed to do is push the push block and then you fall down from up there boy this sure is dark back here and there's nothing do 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 okay. I got quiet there for a second, I'm sorry. Um that wasn't a very entertaining part of the let's play. So I don't think this is a secret. I think this is just all pickups in here. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to race through, push the push block so the uh, boulder doesn't smack you. And then you can climb up here, get those pickups, drop back down, get the shotgun, and then you can leave. Let's see? That's where you're supposed to climb up on the push block. But uh, I side jumped past the uh, boulder. And now I'm right back here. I cheated. It's okay though, because I mean, when you do the corner glitch and side flip through, like it's clear that you can't make it. This one, you can see where you can make. I mean, it's plenty wide. She can almost fit through there anyway. I don't feel bad. We're gonna save now that I got the uh, my shoddy back. The shoddy that I have started to enjoy. Um, the other one we can step on here is the right one. Boom. And then we can go oh. like that. Apparently, I mean I did just save, so we're good. So now we're gonna jump over here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Excuse me, I had to burp. Got heartburn this morning. It's not fun. So let me come over here. And, um,. Jump over here, and then we jump over here, and we're across the river. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ooh, boo -doo, boo -doo. I almost fell in that lava hole. That would have been bad. I would have been, I mean, it wouldn't have been bad. I would have been perfectly fine with it. Anyway, we come into a room with some TNT, including this awkward TNT push block that's in the corner. Now we have to do a series of pushes and pulls to get it where we want it to go, which is in the next room. <sighs> this takes a while. That's like what else, what the hell else am I gonna do? I'm I'm playing this game to the end. You know what I can do? I can adjust the way I'm sitting so my feet don't fall asleep. Remember when I was telling you that I dropped that box spring on my foot and I didn't think I broke my toe? 
No, I absolutely fucking broke my toe. It hurts so bad. I mean, it's getting better. The bruising is, is going away and the swelling is going down, but it still hurts a lot. Especially because I did all that walking in Duluth yesterday. Come on. I, I forget how far I have to go. Um, we need to get up to that door. I need to pull it. I need to pull it one more and push it one more. So, that's the way we want to go. And actually, there's a way speedrunners do it, too, where they don't have to come up this way. They just go through there. But I gotta be honest, I'm not very familiar with that. Um, I really hope there's no boulders. There isn't. Okay. I hear lava. Oh, you punk. So let me come up here. Um, this is like a lava hole again. Is there any pickups over there? No. So these all, f so this edge here and that far edge over there are both slippy slopes. As you can see, she stops. So what we have to do is we have to. Oops. Oh, I almost, I thought maybe she might fall. I feel better jumping to this one. Yeah, see. And then this boulder's gonna come and be an asshole. Are you for real? That hits her there? Well, butt smears. Good thing I just saved. Bitch. Apparently she catches on lava right there too. Holy shit. Physics, am I right? Now we're just gonna stay safely right here, away from the lava and away from the fucking rock. One thing that I like that this game does that Tomb Raider Anniversary does not do is it just sits on her dead body until you go, okay, I'm ready to load the load it up again. Tomb Raider Anniversary, like, there's points where if you die, it starts to fade out before you even really know that you're dead for sure. <sighs> Sorry, I had to yawn. Yeah, there's parts where it fades out before you even know you're dead for sure. Anyway, we're up on this path now. We can actually pull the switch. What does this switch do? Blast off. It blows up the TNT. Hey, there's a pickup and I want it. There it is. Yeah, I... So that blows up the TNT that we saw. Which effectively makes it so that we can't go back the way we came, which is fine. We don't really want to. We do have to go back to this area. I'm gonna jump across this shit again. Which, as we saw, sometimes physics doesn't physics. Do. Now we're up here. Gotta run this way. And now we're in the room where the push where we push the push block, but the push block is gone. And now there's TNT right here. This TNT didn't blow up, and I'm not sure why. Only this one did. But what that did is it made it so that we can climb up this. See? 
And we slide down. Okay, so now we're getting into this weird pillar room. And I'm gonna... We're gonna leave these on. And we're gonna save. Because... We have to do another kill in here. I don't have enough health. Just realized my health was super low and I don't know why. Oh, probably from fighting the cowboy. So now we're in here and we have to fight the skater kid. Good taxi driver reference there, my man. Hey, I killed him pretty quickly. Please just finish dying. I want your guns. Give me them, give me them oozies. Yeah, there they are. 1300 ammo? I think it takes 1400 to kill that boss that I'm thinking of. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use another one of these because I have plenty. This is what I've been saving them for after all. I'm not that, I'm not gonna hoard that much. I think we're officially at 100 saves now. And before we go up to the final area of this level, there's actually a secret we need to get. And there's a couple of pickups as well. So we're gonna grab these. And I think the secret's over here somewhere. The question is, which hole is it? It's this one. See, every other hole has lava. You can see the lava over there. This one has water. There's a secret in here. When you jump in, this door opens. And then you can get all these pickups. You can get all these pickups. Come on! Thank you! And then we can leave. Actually, we can't get out of this one. We have to follow it somewhere. Where does it go? I don't know. Um. Oh, here it is. And now we can get out here. Do do do. And we are right here. Budding. I don't remember if there's any other pickups around here, so I'm gonna look. So the um people that we are fighting in this level are Natla's henchmen. Oh, there we go. And so we fought the cowboy and we fought the skater boy and then we're going to go fight um, another guy who I just I don't know that he has a fan name. I just tech, I just call him the black guy because <laughs> he's a black man and I'm sorry that like the two white guys get personalities and he's just black in Tomb Raider Anniversary they combined the cowboy with Larson so we didn't kill Larson until the beginning of Natla's Mines and then you kill um, the skater kid and then you kill the black man but they actually have names in that one in Tomb Raider Anniversary not that I can remember what they are or that they even say them in the game but, yeah. It is what it is. I'm done running around getting pickups now. I mean, I'm sure there might be more, but at this point we have, I think, all the Uzi ammo. Yeah, we have 1,700. We have plenty of Uzi ammo for the boss that I'm thinking of. So now we gotta go this way. Um... Yeah. 
Yeah, lots of boulders. <laughs> We're going to save now that those have been rolling all over. Um, this way? Yes. So now we are, you know, like in a cave system area, I guess. I gotta be honest, I'm, I think we just have to go up now. Which, you know, makes me wonder, like, how did Natla get, that's too tall. How did Natla get through all this shit? Like, she seems like such a bitch. I don't think- I mean, like, she wants to get to Atlantis. And I'm sure she would do anything to get there. But I really don't see Natla making all these jumps and shit to get to where she needs to go. Like, did she have an alternate route that she collapsed behind her? And then we come into the areas that couldn't be collapsed and that's where the cowboy is and that's where the skater kid is and that's where the black man is I don't know I don't know folks now we come into a part of the game that I hate because it's just a series of push blocks and it all looks the same and I never remember where to go and I'm gonna do my best to not cheat and do the corner flip bug thing Um, I think that one can just stay there. I hate this part. Um, that should have grabbed and it did not. There it goes. And we come up here and we can push this one through. I hate this part. I really hate it. I just, I can... I get lost so easily because, you know, I can't distinguish shit from shit. Anyway, there's a door here that doesn't open from this side. Or ever? I don't know. And we come down here. And then... This one we have to push. No, we can't push it. We have to pull it. And we can't actually pull it anymore. So now we've got to go up here. Oh, but this... No, that's the door I was thinking of. So now we got to go... Oh boy. Please. Please. Um... Because that just pushes it back to where it was. Oh, fudge. Fudge and fudge. I can't. I can't remember. I can't remember. Because, yeah, because this. We can't pull it back this way. Okay. Yeah, because it doesn't push. I tried to push it and it won't push. And I can't pull it anymore because it would be on top of me. And I can't pull it this way because it would be on top of me. So I need to push it from the other side. There's, that's not a hole. I thought it might be, but it's not. I'm trying to do this honestly. I really am. Can I just open that door? Can I do anything? That's the way I came in. 
Can I push this one again? Okay. Oh! It opened a hole. Okay. What does this do? Opens a door. Oh, it opens the door upstairs. Okay. I see a pickup. No, I just saw a hole. Okay, back up. So much back and forth in this level. So now this opened the door by that push block. I wish they would have, like, distinguished the patterns a little bit. So you could remember which push block is which. So this should drop us on the other side of the one that I need to keep pushing. No, I don't know where I am anymore. <coughs> So we push this one. So that opens this, which is to nothing. But this has a switch. And this switch opens a different door in another part of the building. Now, there is a way... See how that door opened? There is a way to time it to get it to stay open and run through it and it doesn't actually trigger the black man boss. It just... So we're upstairs and I have to go downstairs. Boop. It doesn't actually trigger him so then I don't have to fight him. Wait. I went down the wrong... Went down the wrong tube. It's the other one. Nope, this way. There we go. So now there should be a door that's open somewhere. Yes. Say cheese. No, I don't want to say cheese, ass face. We're going to use the Uzis. I have plenty of ammo for it. I have no idea what he said there. Anyway, we could that's where we could pick up a shotgun if we didn't pick it up in that hallway before that I cheated in. So now we have all our guns back. I'll just go back to this one. There's no more enemies in this level. And in fact, so now there's this awkward city house area. I don't I don't really know what this shit is, to be honest. I think it's supposed to be houses. Like we're in the heart of Atlantis now. I could have sworn there was a pickup on one of these buildings. I'm just gonna check. Super, super quick. Um Perhaps not. Okay, we're just going to jump down then. Because what we need to do is we need to jump up that those steps there, slide into a hole, and open or flip a switch. And the switch will get and then that will open a door and give us the key that we can use to open the um, Atlantis door to the next level. We're on the last levels of the game, you guys. There's only two more levels after Natla's Mines. They're both incredibly long levels. Oh, brat. That's what I wanted. Yeah, they're both pretty long levels. I was debating splitting them up, but i am kind of been enjoying recording things in big chunks like this. So then we go like this, and then we go like this, and then we go like this. And then she slides down right there. And then we can go in here. Thank you. 
And that opens a door in one of these buildings, so we can go in and get the key. Doo -doo. More running, because we're always running. Was it this one? Yeah, because here's a med pack. And then here's the key. I was just going to say, well, how the hell did Natla get in? She had the ski on. She was one of the rulers of Atlantis. And then this is the door that opened on the pressure plate back there. And that's the lever that opened that door there. Oh, come on. Let's go in. This is the end of the level right here. Pyramid key. Took. And in we go. Natalus Mines kills three, pickups 25, secrets one of three. Time taken 47.57. I've got a stretch. That's kind of. That's become my thing at the end of levels, is to stretch. Anyway, this is kind of a long level. I'm sorry I didn't get more secrets, I just don't know where they are. I don't know these, I don't know these levels. What is that? Oh, and the walls are pulsating? Ooh. What's happening? I don't know. Let's find out next time. I'm going to save right here. Anyway, this has been Tomb Raider 1. I'm still Kenzie. The lights came on. Have a good day, folks.